I don't lose sleep over what's negative or what I can't change. There will always be sickness and people will need medical care. And we believe that. Even with the NHI, there will be a need for collaboration with the JSH because of our specialist fields. Those are the words of a doctor who is part of the Johannesburg Surgical Hospital. Basically, they want to create a world-class hospital right here in Johannesburg, despite all the nonsense of South Africa. Byron, it's good to see true patriots come out in the news every now and again. There are many people still investing in the country, despite the poor economic outlook. Many individuals, most noticeably in the middle classes that are feeling the pinches the most, are the ones who often want to leave for greener pastures abroad. Are they actually greener? Don't know. As the old saying, they're only greener because there's more shit on the lawn. What we are finding is that there are still a number of individuals investing in high net worth projects that kind of come as a bit of a surprise given the government's approach. Things like the NHR. A few dozen doctors are clubbing together and they're building a state-of-the-art hospital. It's going to cost a few hundred million rand. It's already started to be built. I drove past it the other day. And essentially what they want to do is it's going to be a shareholder-only doctor owning hospital with all the latest tech and all the latest bells and whistles to make it better than anything else on the market and it's happening right here in south africa like that is the most important part you've got these people who are just like you know what i can't control the nhi and things like that but i can't control building the best hospital ever so i'm just going to focus on what i can control that mindset is very very important in this country because we get lost to the political shenanigans of the day but fundamentally maybe we should focus on what we can actually control rather than the politics that we can't very much so and that entrepreneurial spirit is something that i do think ramon that a lot of us have kind of lost we're all so keen to work in an anti five for for the man that we seem to have forgotten that actually the human spirit doesn't work that way and there's nothing certain about the world we live in today and it's certainly not how it works in africa So that kind of stoic thinking of, ah, just do what's in your control, take it easy, just keep calm and carry on. It's actually very rare to see that these days and to see it involving something like the hospital or the medical industry, especially which is under attack with NHR. It's very unusual and very nice to see. Fundamentally, thanks to the NHI, doctors all over the country want to immigrate. A lot of them want to go to Canada for some reason. A lot of them are going, of course, to Australia and England and all the rest of it. I actually know a few doctors who have moved to those particular countries within the last two years. They still say they are enjoying it for now, but I suspect they won't be enjoying it in time to come. But let us not forget, in Canada, the Prime Minister froze the bank accounts of a protest movement. In Australia, they put you in COVID camps. The UK is overrun by the third world. These are not places where you have a long-term future. Whereas in South Africa, the problems are largely easy to solve. We just need a dictator. We just need a Caesar. What's more likely? We get a Caesar or Australia becomes less of a nanny state? I'd agree with you. I mean, something that we see even in places like Canada is, you know, you hurt your knee. It's like, oh, my poor knee. Let me go to the A&E. Go see accident emergency. They give you a form that goes, i got a cure for you. Have you considered euthanasia? It, it's, it's fast, it's cheap, and it's effective. It could really help. Doctor, doctor, I got a flu. Have you considered killing yourself? Well, now you can, thanks to the government of Canada. We've recently seen that even in the UK, there's a very special case there of a nurse that's been going around killing babies. And the NHS knew about it, but they didn't want it to tarnish their image. So they kept it quiet. Yeah, they kept it quiet. They kept the baby killer quiet. That's the world you get to you pick. I mean, come on. What's better? Tim Pot South Africa or the baby killers in the UK? I know what I'm picking. Well, here's the one thing you won't get in Canada, Australia, or the UK. You won't get a group of doctors investing money into building their own hospital to be the world leader in healthcare. That is not what you will find in those countries. That's what you will find in South Africa. Because you know what? We keep saying this. South Africa is a pioneering stateless society. Private capital is going to save this place. People with skin in the game and who dig trenches are going to save this place. You can have a role in that if you dig a trench. 
If you don't want to dig a trench, that's fine as well. But I'd rather be on the side of those who dig trenches. You should probably build a trench because regardless of where you go, well, it's pretty shit. And at some stage, you can actually have to stand your ground and fight. Hold the line. And build something that's actually worthwhile and something that's yours, something to be proud of. And lo and behold, it's happening in Johannesburg, which I must say has kind of caught me a little bit by surprise because Joburg's a bit of a shithole. But that being it's true, Ramon, you live Hey, there. I live here. Come now. I'm trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> well, that being said, it's actually very rare to see this kind of patriotism and these kind of individuals just saying, ah, you know what, screw it, let's just get on with it. And maybe that's what South Africa needs. South Africa needs the attitude of like, ah, the rest of the world sucks anyway. Might as well just stand your ground, build a fort, and actually invest some of your money and fix things, maintain things. Do you remember when maintenance was a thing? We actually used to repair things we broke. Now we just break it and then we're like, ah. Next week, we'll break it a little bit more. But then when there's nothing left to break, we all sit there going, I wonder how it got to this stage. Well, that's how. Maybe we should actually start and rebuild our neighborhoods and rebuild our cities and just maintain stuff. I mean, that would be a good start, wouldn't it? Well, just think about what Morning Shot has done over the course of the last few months. We went to Aranya, a self-sustaining town in South Africa. It cannot be built anywhere else in the world. We spoke to tiny towns who are fixing and maintaining the coastal areas south of Durban. And more importantly, we spoke to the Westville Payers Association who have initiated rates boycotts and are going to court to make that an order of court. So civilians of South Africa are finally understanding that state proofing is much better than just moaning all the bloody time. <laughs>